hello, hello, and welcome to the dumpster fire that is my channel. Don't ask me how many times I've filmed this, it has been a day. My name is Kiona, and I mainly do diamond painting content and some shop update stuff, which today is a shop update. So today, we are discussing what is coming out on Friday. I do restocks every Friday, or new stocks last week we had two new stocks and i did not discuss it and that's what we're going to be discussing today but first we're going to start with the topic at hand i am going to be bringing out i'm going to remove the current made to order listing it's going to be gone as of friday now i'm going to put in four new made to order listings and Instead of it being just one style or whatever, because I can only have two variations on the Etsy listing, we're going to do it this way. We're going to have 12 pack, the 24 pack, the 36 pack, and the 14 pack rainbow. Yes, the 14 pack rainbow is coming back. So that's what we're going to talk about right now. The 14 pack rainbow has been, was one of my first section frames i released and it was only available in the corner cut style but now i will be replacing it and making it available in all styles so it'll be made to order i will cut them out in sheets like this well not necessarily this because this is for the mini cut because the ten and a half by ten and a half but i will cut them out in sheets like this to know exactly how much stock i can make and this is gonna fall <laughs> Sorry. And so what we will be doing from there is you can buy these only in a 14 pack. And you will be able to choose a style. You can say, hey, I want them in window pane style, floating label style, mystery pack style, or corner label. And they will be cut in the style you want. Again, these will only come in a 14 pack because there's seven colors. That means you get two of each color. Now, the reason why it took me a while to get these back, what am I getting caught on? Okay, the, the reason why it took me a while to get these colors back is because I had to find a sustainable rainbow color in all the same brand to keep consistency. The first rainbow packs were not the same brand. They were a mix, um, just a big mix of brands and what vinyl I had on hand, I happened to be able to make a, uh, you know, to make a full rainbow out of them. So I wanted to be able to find one vinyl company and be able to rebuy those primary colors. Which, you'd be shocked, it's actually hard to find an indigo, an indigo equivalent in colors. This is not an indigo, obviously, this is a violet. But indigo can be referred to as dark blue with purple. So violet works great with that. I'm sitting there seeing if it actually says violet on there. I don't know. But so that's what we got. We got our red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, purple. So this will be coming back on Friday. Now let's talk about those two new styles that we just mentioned that came out last week. We had two new styles come out last week. We had the floating label and the mystery pack. Originally, I said on Instagram stories that the mystery pack will only be available in 36 packs. I have changed my mind. They will also be available in the made to order, which again will be 12, 24, and 36. So not all colors will be available in the 36 and the 24 that are in the 12 because it, it basically goes on my supply on what I have. And I will give you a hint, I have a lot of matte black, I have a lot of matte white, I have a lot of black chrome, and I have a lot of everybody's favorites. If I can pull it out here. It's like, now! I know it's somewhere in this style, or this pack here. I have a lot of everybody's favorite. You're gonna call me a liar now, aren't you? It's like, yes. This one right here. The purple, green, blue... Sparkle Rainbow. Or GPB. That's what I call it. GPB Sparkle Rainbow. I have so much of this vinyl because I've been buying it every chance I get. 
So those colors will be available in the 12, 24, and 36, but I don't know what other colors will be available in the 24 and 26. You'll have to wait until I get down into my inventory. But what I'm going to start off with is one black, one white, one black chrome, and one GPB sparkle rainbow in each color or in each style. And in each, uh, or not in each style, sorry, in each pack size. That way I know I can fill it. Does that make sense? But afterwards I'll be able to sit there and make a proper inventory. I only got a few days to do this, okay? So, yes, the, I've also reduced the sizes to 3.98 by 4.48. So you can round up to 4.5 and, half and um, 4, uh, you know, respectively. But I did that to make it easier for when you're filling out a painting and you're trying to do your labeling because if you go and you look at this one right here there are gaps in between the labels so you can cut in between the section frames oh i i might do chalkboard black in the 12 and the 24 i gotta do i gotta do a count on how much chalkboard black i have so that's what's coming there um, what else? What else is coming Friday? Uh, there's nothing else coming Friday, but I do have some future plans for the channel, so, or not channel, for the shop, so let's discuss that. I will be reducing the size of the envelopes that the packaging comes in. I'll be reducing them down to this 6.25 by 4.5 size instead of a 5.25 by 7.25. So, to show you the difference, let me grab my container. So, if you look at my container, this container, all of the ones I've made fit cat corner because they don't fit sideways unless I push them. So, this is the size difference right here. See that? It is significant enough that I can take this envelope, I can put this folder inside this envelope, for example. And don't worry, I will never be licking these closed. I, that's not how I package things. I don't close the actual package because I want you to have the envelope do as you wish. Like, when I send these, I put a sticker that holds it down right here. So this tape never gets taken off. But the new packaging will be... It can fit. It can fit. And the reason why I'm thinking about other people with their storage as well as me with my storage... I've also upgraded the packaging a little bit. We have added now so you can tell the difference between which section frames without opening them and pulling them out. You have always had the label saying the size and saying the color and how much is in the pack. But now you have the style up in the top right corner. Here, I got some examples. See what I mean? You got style differences now. I also will no longer be selling four packs after what is listed sells. So those are the last of the four packs. Everything will be in 12, 24, or 36 from now on, minus the rainbow, which we just discussed being in 14. So those are the major updates. Now I have a minor update here. When I started making the wax minders, I came up with eight colors. Dust on that. And I came up with eight colors. Here's some of them. Just sitting on a table. Not table. On a tray. You know, we got my green apple. We got an ocean spray that desperately needs to be trimmed. We got the orange slice and the lemon leaf. Lemony yellow and cherry red. So we got those. We got this little guy, which we won't talk about because of the fact that he's actually a mess up. And he'll probably never be sold, because I don't like that color. It's too much red glitter. There's our watermelon fusion right there, which you notice they're different every time. And our um, bubblegum pink. But these are the 2022 Series Bears. I originally called them Series 1, but no, I'm changing it to a year. These are the 2022 Series Bears, because the colors, I came up with them in 2022. So I'd like to introduce you to the very first of the next 
series, the 2024 series. And no, it's not this one in the corner. This will not be for sale yet because I want to get all eight colors done before I release the series. So this is the first of the 2023 series. Kind of like a little sneak peek. Get up close. This is the strawberries and cream with way too much exposure. Strawberries and queen, cream wax binder. Can you get closer? I'm going to bring this up to you so you, it'll update. Ignore the scratches. I, it's a metal pan. We have way too much exposure right now. I think it's because of the black. So here, I'll put it in my hand. Maybe that'll make it easier. Uh, there you go. So right there, you will see it's got little specks of red in it. It like strawberry ice cream. So this is our first of the new eight colors. I'm still working and prototyping the next one. My next color I'll be working on is a grape soda. You'll probably see that next week, but it won't be up for sale. Until, like I said, all eight new colors are done. So the 2023 series of wax binders is coming. And I've already learned nobody likes yellow or orange. My poor guy. My poor guy. I still have plans for an orange. It's like, wait, but you just said nobody likes them. You mind your business. You mind your business. I got another orange planned in my head. We'll see how it comes out. So that is our one of our future items. Another one of our future items are labeled thick baggies. And you have plenty of room to put a Diamond Art Club label or a um, Craftably label or right, you know, but not all diamond paintings come with labels. And also, if you have spare drills, you're not going to want to use that label. You're going to put your own handwriting on it. So we have the chalkboard label baggie these will be coming out shortly this is a two by three so it's only a prototype i have uh two and a half by three as i'd like to look at because i prefer to have that size and if you have any suggestions just leave a comment down below what do you prefer do you prefer the two and a half by threes or the two by threes because these are just a little thin in my opinion let me know down in the comments below now, with that said, um, let's talk about proper avenues to take when communicating with a shop owner. And this is not just for me, but it's become an issue with me. And that is private messages. Please do not message shop owners in live stream chats. If you have a question for the owner and it's off topic. Now, if the creator's talking about the shop, it makes sense. But if it's completely off topic from what's going on in the chat room or what's going on in the stream or even the video. Like if I comment on a video and just no, no, no. Go privately. Go privately and ask your question. Say, hey, Kiona, do you have any plans for any more galaxy types? Would you ask me that in a live stream or would you ask me that privately? You would ask me that privately. There are plenty of avenues. All my socials are down below and now my Discord is included down below. I've had the Discord for a long time. It finally is time that I added it to the description box. So you can contact me on Discord, Instagram, definitely not Facebook. I hate it. You know, but um, Twitch Whispers, email. Etsy messages is probably the most appropriate avenue to take. And I want you guys to, you know, use those methods. I mentioned it yesterday on the Instagram story, and I figured the only way I was going to get my point across was in a video. Now, with that last thing being said, I am going to show you one restock I will be doing this week. That right now, last week I restocked one 12-pack of each color, and this week I will be doing the same exact thing. And this is the blurry as hell. This is the hollow sets. But we'll be ignoring the scam likely coming on my phone. But instead, I will be putting them in the made to order in the 12 pack section. This is your blue rainbow hollow. This is your opal iridescent hollow. Kind of like a pink to blue to white. This is like a purple to blue to with a little bit of gold in there. 
And then this is your pink lemonade, which is a pink and yellow hollow. These, when I'm cutting them and packaging them, I wear gloves. That's why my rings aren't on because I have that order to package for these. But when I wear gloves because they have a protected film on them right now. It's a very clear film. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. It's easier to get off on the rainbow or the blue mermaid. I don't know why I call it rainbow. But they have a protective film on them. And I take that off when I go to cut it. Not when I cut it, cut it, but when I go to cut it on the Cricut, you take this film off. It doesn't want to come off for me to show you. I'm just trying to get a corner to give you an idea. But as soon as that comes off, this is very prone to fingerprints. There it goes. So, see how beautiful that is with the plastic off of it? It's very prone to fingerprints. So, instead of putting my fingerprints all over it, I have to wear gloves. And that's why I only stock one at a time right now. But... I have enough in stock to stock three at a time. And I will be doing that this Friday. I will be doing a made-to-order. I will be removing the hollow altogether for now. I'm going to be updating the window pane one. I'm trying to convert everything to that made-to-order and you select your own style. That is the plan. Either way, I think I have everything covered. If I don't, you can yell at me. <laughs> a shop update is on Friday. I don't have a set time yet. I will post it on Instagram. Again, follow me on Instagram for those details. I'm going to get out of here. Uh, don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed this. Leave, you know, leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions, if there's colors you want to see, if you like the ideas of me leaving the style up to y'all instead of just making a bunch of a style and throwing it out there. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content like this or even diamond painting content. You know, I greatly appreciate it. Just click the button right over there. Until then, I will see you in the next video. I'm out of here because it is almost 3 o'clock and I still got to edit. Bye.